Hi, Coco. How are you? I'm very well, Laurel. How are you? It's so nice to see you again. Thank you. I am really great. Happy holidays to you. Thanks. Happy holidays to you, too. Thanks for taking a little bit of time and coming on and talking about your way of gr sharing your gratitudes. I love your gratitude journaling. You have such a unique way of doing it, and I wanted other people to know what you were doing in case it inspired them to do the same. So will you talk a little bit about it? Sure, I will. And thank you, by the way. It's definitely my pleasure to be here. Mm. So generally speaking, I um, make sure, I make a point of doing my evening gratitudes um, every night before I go to bed. Mm. Uh, I will say there are some times I do it a little differently. Today's one of those days. And when I do my, my uh, gratitude journaling, I really... It's what resonates me, resonates with me, whatever has happened during the day. And today happens to be I'm honoring my beloved Chewy. So this morning I did wake up. I, as you know, I think I lost her a year ago, but I always want to in memoriam honor mm. her and write beautiful things about her. Mm. Uh, that's one way that I do it. Also, I've been doing a lot of baking, which I so enjoy this time of year. Yeah. For the holidays between Thanksgiving and, and, you know, the upcoming Christmas holiday. Mm. So I love to, if I've had a great day in the kitchen cooking, at the end of the day, I'll kind of put a picture uh, representing, you know, uh, that. And some of the things that I say, for example, when we Skype together at the end of the day, I will mm. very often put, in, you know, how thankful I am for our friendship and having spent time with you on the phone. Mm. Or even something that's very simple about how delicious this pumpkin pie was with the chocolate <laughs> Oh, you know. that looks so good. Or <laughs> and I have a great day at work or a long mm. weekend. I keep it really simple, Laurel. Mm. Again, it's kind of whatever really resonates with me. Yeah. I so do you do, will you do multiple pictures on a day or do you just choose one for your e evening gratitude or? I choose yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So representative of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I was so, and you know, I have a lot of wildlife where I live. Mm. I love Mother Nature and I love all the beautiful creatures mm. of our world. And I had this gorgeous hawk visiting me. Mm. And I am very thankful for the opportunity to have even seen him like about three feet and able to take photos of him. That is just an incredible photo. You shared that with me and I, I just, it's one of my all time favorites now. Oh, thank you. I have to say mm. it's one of my all time favorites. Um, the perspective, you know, I've never seen one close up before. And to see how big they really are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's intimidating, isn't it? It's like dog Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want the hawk to take off with Lucas. No. <laughs> I keep, keep your Lucas inside. Safe. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so let's see. So yeah, here, for example. Oh, we had a beautiful light snowfall. Mm. So I wrote. Beautiful light snowfall and so pretty and how grateful I am in Mother Earth and all of her daily and everlasting beauty. I'm so grateful. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. 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 So lots of things. If I travel, um, here's the Biltmore. I wasn't there recently, but mm. I still remember it and have fond memories and, and love it. And mm. Beautiful. So I, I put that. For me, I think the most important thing is to make it work for you, keep it super simple, mm -hmm. and, you know, it can be anything you want. Yeah, yeah. One of the things I love about the electronic journaling, for me, mm -hmm. it's easy. Um, first of all, I just can kind of change the formats already there. If I want to change the picture, I just hit replace, and it quickly goes into... Nice, so, yeah. So, it up a lot of time, and yet... I find it does make a difference in my life. I find that I actually am happier because mm. of gratitudes. Yeah, yeah. Do you notice, I know for myself I've noticed that um, even during the day, just kind of randomly, I start to say gratitudes just spontaneously, you know, especially like driving or something like that because mm -hmm. it becomes habitual when you do it every day, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it does. <clears throat> and I feel the same way. Mm. Um, also, it really helps me if I'm feeling sorry for myself, mm -hmm. kind of having a little off day. Yeah. 
really do take a look around and I, and I kind of like physically shake myself, like shake it off. And I'm like, Oh my goodness, you are blessed in so many ways and you have so much more there. There's so many other people out there that are homeless, right? Or disasters. Mm. So it does really help me keep things in perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And keep that energy of, uh, affirming Mm -hmm. and feeling full within you. Right. Yeah. 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 And positive. It makes a big difference in in going through life as you know, you know, and, and, you know, I can't speak for everybody, but you know, I was a human being, you know, a tendency now and again to like want to feel sorry myself or be a victim. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute, Mm. you know, um, that's, you know, not my higher self. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So will you show us a couple more before we wrap up? Will you just. Yes. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. It's a saying. Um, sometimes I actually will photograph, especially when the Oprah show was on, mm. or if I see something from Louise Hay, believe it or not, on TV, on PBS. I love this. So I will actually take a picture of the screen. Mm. Everybody has a calling. Your real job is to feel your calling and begin honoring it now. Oh, beautiful. So I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And what a great idea to take a picture of the tele something that you see on the television, or you could do it with your computer, and then you have the photo, right? And you can put that up as a gratitude. How beautiful is that? You're so creative in this. I just love it. Oh, thank you. Well, the pictures of the Biltmore, Mm -hmm. I was there, but their photographs are far more beautiful, truly, than any of the ones that I've taken. Mm. I took pictures of the postcards. Yeah, right, right. So absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes, because it, it's a memory for me, and I do cherish them. Mm. Um, this, I'm going to show you a couple. This one I love. This is just, you know, um, not a gr- very clear picture, but it was meditating mm. right when we were in um, oh, India. Beautiful. But at the ashram, it was one of my best experiences. Mm. And, you know, sometimes I like to be reminded of that, or if I have a great day of meditation, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And I love it. And this, this is one of the things I want. I don't even know if they make them, but I think they do. That is a fairy house, Laurel. Really? Oh, interesting. I'll send you the photo, but it's a fairy house. A fairy house. Hmm. And uh, it's kind of like a dollhouse. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought to myself, I'm going to get me one of those. Yeah. You want to play with a fairy house. Yeah. I do. I want the energy in my home. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I want the energy in my home. Well, let's see. Oh, you. go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, no. Go ahead. Show us one more. Mm-hmm. One of my favorites. Beautiful. Um, That's an incredible birds. photo. You, did you take that just outside and then... I did. And and then how did you get it so it's just the hummingbirds? I mean, I, it almost I, looks I, like I you're feel... just there in space. Yeah. I love the little creatures. Um, I do most of this with my iPhone, mm-hmm. Okay. but I cropped it, so oh. I focused after the fact. Okay. I edited it and focused and cropped it, but that's all mm-hmm. I did. I didn't have to do much more, you know, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. yeah, I love the little creatures, and well, I'm so thankful. I know. We love hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are so beautiful. They're symbolic of dream- drinking deeply from the essence of life, oh, and then that. also making the um, courageous and, and great journey of life, you know, because the, mm. the hummingbirds, they're so tiny and they fly so far every year, right? Back mm-hmm. and forth. Mm-hmm. Incredible, you know, so their sim- symbology is so powerful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I love it. I feel very blessed even just to see them. I've actually held them before, so I'm mm. grateful. <laughs> wow, wow, incredible, incredible. Yeah. Uh Oh, thank you so much for taking a few minutes and sharing your iPad gratitude journal it's just incredible i love it i love the idea i hope it inspires others to keep a gratitude journal because i know it's so transformative well thank you it's just very flexible and easy for me so i appreciate it and uh, thank you happy holidays to you and your family oh thank you and same to you my dear and i'll see you soon see you soon much love to you dear you too Bye. bye